Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, guess what I'm doing today? I'm making wine, all right? Gonna make some hippie wine. Me and Bella, she's over here. She's getting ready. She's not really paying attention, but we're making wine, so here we go. <laughs> So this is like one of my pastimes that I picked up while I was away in the army. And you know, with the price of wine these days, sometimes you gotta make it yourself and it's super easy to do. Don't let them fool you. All you're gonna do is take a one gallon jug or a five gallon jug or a half gallon jug, translate your recipe to the size of the container and you just put it in there and let it go. Today, I'm gonna use grape concentrate from Walmart and then I'm going to use some table sugar, just the regular sugar in your house. And then I'm going to take one yeast packet and then fill it full of water to the distribution of the grape juice concentrate. Plug it up and let it sit for about a month. And it's always awesome. Two months sometimes too, just depends upon the tape. See, me and Bella, we're fixing to, fixing to do this. Yep, mm -hmm. she wants some table wine too. So, you ready for some wine, Bell? You ready for some wine? Tell them, you want some wine. You want wine. All right, so what I'm doing here is I am getting some hot water boiling. I'm gonna pour my sugar into it to create a sugar solution so I can pour in my jug and the sugar is all diluted into the water. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm putting two and a half of these, one cups, where I put in a little bit, but two and a half, filled to the one cup line of this in here with the boiling water and you'll see it'll like turn to liquid like almost immediately and just take it and stir it around a little bit just like this and this will mix with your juice a lot better I'm just pouring it in there because it won't dilute alright boom so that was one cup because so I poured a little in before I started filming. So fill this one up again. So we've got another cup filled to the one cup line. This is number two. Pouring it in there. Boom. Stir it around a little bit. All right, to the half cup line. Going in. All right, that's two and a half cups of sugar one gallon jug. Now I'm going to put now I'm going to put the fruit in. All right, so here's my two 12 ounce cans of Welch's grape juice. All right. All it is, if I can get it right side up, is Welch's grape concentrate from Walmart, They're like $2 a piece. This is basically grapes in a can. As you can see, these are 12 ounce cans. These are 11 and a half. Recipe calls for 12, but whatever. Now I gotta let these thaw out and find a funnel and pour it into my jug, stop it up, and we're good to go. All right, so I poured my grape juice into this pitcher right here so I can pour it in here. Can't find a clean funnel. So we're gonna do it the prison way. No, I didn't go to prison. Okay, we'll, tall, we'll call it the, the redneck way or the ingenuity way or whatever you wanna call it. All right, here's the yeast I am using for this wine. All right, check it out. Ordered them off Amazon for like a whole pack. It was like seven bucks of like 10 or something like that. You can get them at the wine store, super cheap. They make, you know, for different types, different flavors, different yeast. So there you go. All right, so for one gallon of wine, this jug, I'm going to use two ounces of this. Okay, this is a five ounce or a five gram packet of yeast. Let's see, five grams. All right, can you see it? So I'm gonna like do my best to split this. I'm just gonna guesstimate and it'll be fine. And so I'm gonna put it in some lukewarm water, stir it around, let it dilute to activate the yeast. And then I'm gonna pour it in here with my juice and my sugar, which I did in the pot inside, and then we'll be good to go. So, all right, so lukewarm water in there. Stir it up, 
Start it up the best you can. Bell's trying to help me here. All right, so we're gonna do this on the struggle bus, okay? Because I can't find a funnel. But all you need is a little funnel that'll fit inside the neck of this and you pour it. But I'm just gonna pour it in a pitcher and I'm probably gonna spill half of it, but it's gonna go in anyways. If I miss a little, I'll make it up with a little water. Wow, this grape juice smells really good. I mixed the yeast in with the grape juice before I poured it so I could pour it a lot more easy, or a lot easier without a funnel. All right, since that pour was really easy, I just went ahead and put my water in the jug. I just put my water in the jug with the can itself. So I put six cans of this. I don't know if all six cans are gonna fit in this jug, so I'm just gonna fill it the best I can the rest of the way up with water. Wow, look at that. Filled it up perfectly all the way to the top. Filled it up perfectly all the way to the top, okay. That's six cans. That's six six of these. Two reg six cans of water, okay? Two cans of this. The sugar water, the yeast, all mixed together, poured into here with a pitcher, and it worked out perfect. The math was perfect, as you can see. Look, to the top. All right, now for the last part. And I haven't showed you these yet, but I should have. So let me go get them. All right, here's the last pieces of this whole ordeal, okay? Got your bubbler, okay? As you can see, I got a little water in it because this allows the carbon dioxide to escape the bottle, but doesn't let oxygen in. And then, stopper, okay? And this creates an airtight seal. Got a hole in it for the end of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the stopper in. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Are you, are you are definitely ready? Bella, are you ready? Bell's ready. All right. And voila. Stopper is in there, as you can see. And since I didn't lose too much water in my little thing here, still almost at the fill line, I'm going to go ahead and stick that in there. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. All right, well, that's the whole process. Bottle, airtight, and the little bubbler. And I'm gonna sit this in the closet or somewhere in the garage or something for about a month, and I'm gonna taste it, and then I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do. Now this recipe I pulled offline, I normally do it in a five gallon jug, and my recipe is like five cans to like six pounds of sugar to one yeast packet for two months and usually turns out good. It'll be interesting to see what this tastes like. More sugar usually than more alcohol. So we'll see. So I got this bottle set up for 14 bucks on Amazon. Uh, Amazon Prime. It was like $14.95 for the rubber stopper, the bubbler, and the glass jar. Now, I normally do it in Brita tanks, but the plastic, you have to watch out for the plastic because if it's not rated for alcohol, it'll make the plastic brittle and it'll crack, or the taste will pull from the plastic into your wine and it won't taste very well. So, um, this looks to be a quality thing. I think it's made, I'll put in the comment below who it's made by. It's like homebrew something or another. But, uh, yeah, it's a good little quick setup if you're not really into it in a big way, but want to be in it in a little way. This was like 14 bucks and you're good to go. So check it out. But that's all I got for this. Please like and subscribe. Comment below. Let us know what you think about these uh, videos. And if you got anything to add in onto winemaking, go ahead and put it in down there. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.